working with pages on your Weebly site is pretty straightforward. In the top of the site creator window, we have this blue interface toolbar. And to get to the pages section, we'll just click pages. In the pages area, we can add a new page by clicking the add button. And for this example, I'm going to add some pages. Let me click off of that for a moment. Under services, I'm going to add some pages which represent different service offerings. So I'll go ahead and click that add button. You can choose what sort of page you want to add. And in this example, I'll choose a standard page. Weebly always places your new page at the bottom. So that's where you'll see it. And we'll begin by filling in our page name. So since this is going under services, I'm going to put in websites. Below the page name field, you can choose whether you want to hide this page in the navigation. And you might want to do that if it's a page that you're still working on and not ready to go live with yet. Below that, we can choose which layout we want to use. And in this example, I'm just going to choose the no header layout. And then again, we can choose what kind of visibility we want with the visibility dropdown. And if you have a higher level site that supports site passwords and memberships, you have some additional features here. And then below that is the advanced settings area. And this is where you can fill in some advanced SEO information. So page title, specific page description, you would put this in at the top level for your entire site, but this gives you the ability to do per page website optimization. I'm going to leave that blank for now. I might come back and do that later. We've got everything in our page setup done. The last thing to do is to place this page where we want it to appear in the menu. And you'll see a little tip at the bottom of the left column here, drag pages up and down to reorder. So I'm going to take my new websites page and I'm going to drag it up under services. Now, if I want that page to appear at the very top level of the menu, I can leave it right there. But if I want it to be a sub page of the services page, I can just drag it over to the right a little bit and it will nest underneath services. So let's take a look at what that does. We'll go all the way down to the right bottom corner and click save and edit. When you do that, you'll always land on your new page, but because it doesn't have a title, it's a little bit hard to tell where you are. So let's begin by dragging in a title module. This was a websites page, so I'm just going to give it the same name so that once when someone clicks in the menu, they know they've arrived at the right spot. And I'm also just going to drag in really quickly a text module and say coming soon. Just kind of hold my place. If we go up to the menu now and we hold our cursor over services, we have a drop down item for websites. Let's publish this and see what it looks like on the live side of the site. Once we publish, we can click our beta link. We'll want to navigate to our new page. So if we hold our cursor over services, we can see that websites has been added and there's our new page. So just a quick review on that. If we go back to our site creator window, we go to pages, we can click add a new page. You'll almost always be adding a standard page, but you could use one of these other page types. You'll want to name your new page. I'll call this one graphic design. That's another one of the services I offer. We can choose whatever page layout we want. And for this one, I'll use short header. I'm going to accept the defaults for the visibility and the advanced settings. And then I'm going to drag that graphic design page up under websites. So under services, we'll now have two drop down items. I'm going to click save and edit over in the lower right. And when I arrive at my page, I'm going to give it a title right away so that I will know what this page is when I come back to work on it. And I'm going to grab a text module and put that in as a placeholder again, just so I can remember where I left off. If we click the publish button, upper right hand corner, we'll get a nice view of the live site. And we should see two drop down items under services now, websites and graphic design. If we go to either of those, we'll see just our placeholder title 
and uh, uh, text module. And you'll see how this page is a little different. It uses that page layout with the graphic included. One last thing I want to show you about the pages area. If you've added a page and then you decide that you don't not need it, this is where you would come to delete a page. So do this with great care because once you delete it, it's really gone. But you would just make sure that you have the right page selected. And then in the lower right corner, you can click delete page. The system will ask you if you're sure and you can say yes. So that's a quick look at working with pages in Weebly.